<laughs> you were a fool to spare me. What did you think I would be grateful? Cicero should be listener. Not you. Now you will die. Ah! Gotcha! <laughs> oh, listener, you should see the look on your face. <laughs> Cicero has returned, not to kill the kind listener, but to serve until one of us dies horribly in service to our mother. Best friends forever. In the meantime, I'll make myself at home in the sanctuary. I'm sure mother needs tending. <laughs> Ancestors wouldn't want this, Silas. Why should I hide from it? This is my family's legacy. It's the past. Dead oaks on dead licks. Let it stay there. The museum is opening, Medina. I'm here to lend my magic to the people of Dawnstar. I beg you, don't go into Silas's museum. Silas comes from one of the oldest families in Dawnstar. They have a complicated history. Several of his ancestors belong to the Mythic Dawn, the cult that almost destroyed Tamriel. His family's involvement was only found out well after the crisis had died down, but it still ruined their reputation. They were outcasts. And now Silas is back, and this museum to the Mythic Dawn is his way of trying to rebuild his family's pride. It's misguided. Not a student of history, I see. It's for the best. They're a group that should be forgotten. The only thing you need to know is that they almost destroyed the world. And they were stopped. A long time ago. That museum is a mistake. Huh? And here comes my first visitor. The Museum of the Mythic Dawn is open, friend. Yes, my collection of artifacts from a group that toppled an empire. Why don't you come in? You can browse the displays and we can talk. I have a job you look perfect for. Let's talk inside. to look around. Come talk to me when you're ready to discuss that job I meant. The tapestries hung here and outside were found in hideouts where members of the Mythic Dawn would meet. Ah, yes. That scabbard. Notice the insignia? An oblivion gate. A key symbol of Merun's Dagon. The patron Daedra of the Mythic Dawn.
That burned paper is all that remains of the fabled Mysterium Xarxes, the blasphemous book written by Merun's Dagon himself. The commentaries on the Mysterium Xarxes were written by the Mythic Dawn cult leader, Mankar Cameron. He promised a paradise awaited his followers when they died, that they would be reborn by Merun's Dagon's side. Did you have any questions about the museum, or would you rather talk business? It's no secret that my family were once members of the Mythic Dawn. One of my forefathers was even chosen to assassinate Uriel Septim himself. We hid from our past for years, became tradesmen, people of coin and influence. But I realized that the Mythic Dawn's importance, our importance, to history cannot be denied. I'll see everyone in Tamriel remember that for a moment, we held the fate of the world in our hands, for good or ill. They were worshippers of Merun's Dagon, the Daedric Lord of Destruction and Change. The mythic dawn killed Uriel Septim VII and his heirs, triggering the events that led to the Oblivion Crisis when the Daedra invaded Tamriel. All that remains of the infamous cult I've gathered in my museum. Ah, an excellent question. Merun's Dagon is the Daedric Lord of Change, Destruction, and Ambition. Dagon's mythic dawn cult killed the Septim Dynasty and opened the Oblivion Gates into Tamriel. They called it the Oblivion Crisis. A little history first. After the Oblivion Crisis, a number of groups cropped up dedicated to wiping out the remnants of the mythic dawn. One of these groups found Merun's razor, the artifact of Dagon. They split it into three fragments and pledged to keep them apart forever. That was almost 150 years ago, and the pieces are still being kept by the descendants of that group, and they're right here, in Skyrim. At least two of the owners, Gunzel and Draskua, are dangerous marauders, and the third owner, Jorgen, I only know he lives in Morthal. Here are my notes about them. I'll gladly pay you for getting the pieces any way you can. No questions asked. The Razor is Merun's Dagon's personal artifact. It has always heralded bloody change and carnage. It's held many names. Dagger of the Final Wounds, Bane of the Righteous, the Kingslayer. The Mythic Dawn worshipped Dagon as a god. Having his razor would be invaluable to my collection. Good luck finding the fragments. An amulet of Mara? I'm surprised someone like you is... Well, yes. Why wouldn't I be? Are you... interested in me? It's settled then. Brief as life can be in Skyrim. At least we'll have each other.
Wait, I know you. Yes? Need something? This temple is dedicated to Mara, and the light of love she shines on us all. I'm only a humble acolyte, though. If you wish to avail yourself of Mara's blessing, you, you should speak with Denya Balu or Maramal. Mm-hmm. Hmm? Come to laugh at the grave tender? If you're trying to ask if I tend the Hall of the Dead alone, then the answer is yes. You think anyone around here is going to lift a shovel to help me? Guess again. Look, I didn't ask for this job. I got stuck with it thanks to my father. My father was a priest of Arche. All my life was spent around the dead being forced to learn the proper burial rituals and prayers. I never had any friends. Who'd want to spend time with the weird little girl who hangs around dead people? So I grew up with a miserable trade. This is all I know how to do. Prepare and inter the deceased. I'd like to make the journey to the Hall of the Dead in Whiterun, and give my ceremonial dagger to Anders, the caretaker. I believe once it's interred with my father's remains, I'll be at peace with his memory. I hadn't asked you because I was afraid you'd say no. Here, I'm entrusting you with the dagger. Bring it to Anders and he'll take care of the rest. A priest of Arche is entrusted with a ceremonial dagger once they've completed their training. It's usually given by the head priest who sanctified the ritual. In my case, the head priest happened to be my father. The thing is, I never wanted to follow in his footsteps. In some ways, I still don't. I had to, for honor's sake, but I had waited too long. My father died before he could see my training to completion. When I finally became a priest, they gave me the new High Priest's dagger, but I already owned my father's. So you see, I have to return it. It breaks tradition, and I need to tell him that I finally did what he wanted. Be cautious. The pilgrimage to the shrine is not an easy one. Blessings of Mara upon you. You wish to be married? It's good to see love blossoming even during these difficult times. 
Your wedding will be held tomorrow, from dawn until dusk. Don't be late. You don't want to miss your own wedding. May you return to her benevolence and safety. Let me know if you have any as you command. What do you need? Okay, got it. 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 Anything else? Back already? As you command, my thane. Ferris prices in the highest quality in Skyrim. It helps them accept the unknown. Congratulations on your wedding. I'm so happy for both of you. Congratulations on your wedding. I'm so happy for both of you. Congratulations on your wedding. I'm so happy for both of you. Congratulations on your wedding. I am so happy for both of you. Congratulations on your wedding. I'm so Congratulations on your wedding. I'm so happy for both of you. Congratulations on your wedding. I am so happy for both of you. Congratulations on... Visiting Riften? All are welcome at the Temple of Mara.
Wait, I know you. Congratulations on your wedding. I'm so happy for both of you. Yes, my Thane? Do let me know if I can be a... Here's the proud groom now. Let's begin the ceremony. It was Mara that first gave birth to all of creation and pledged to watch over us as her children. It is from her love of us that we first learned to love one another. It is from this love that we learned that a life lived alone is no life at all. We gather here today under Mara's loving gaze to bear witness to the union of two souls in eternal companionship. May they journey forth together in this life and in the next, in prosperity and poverty and in joy and hardship. Do you agree to be bound together in love, now and forever? I do, now and forever. Do you agree to be bound together in love, now and forever? Under the authority of Mara, the divine of love, I declare this couple to be wed. I present the two of you with these matching rings, blessed by Mara's divine grace. May they protect each of you in your new life together. We're married. I guess we'll need to decide where we're living, won't we? You can always stay with me. <laughs> Our new home. I'll see you there.